Another big story today. One of the Republican senators that's not really sold on this new nuclear arms treaty that we've been talking so much about, the START treaty, is Senator Orrin Hatch of Utah. He joins us live from Capitol Hill. And Senator Hatch, just to start things off, uh, I'm going to just tell our audience a little bit about this START treaty that's supposed to just reduce the nuclear arms on both sides, not only Russia, but in the United States. Uh, what's your take on this treaty overall? Well, uh, I'm still studying it. I haven't made up my mind on it yet, but I am concerned about a number of things, like the, uh, not being able to fully check up on and verify matters with regard to their particular uh, lines of, of, of weapons. Uh, I, some of the telemetry problems, they're very complex problems, uh, bother me quite a bit. Uh, there are other aspects of it that I'm just very concerned about. And, you know, I, I do hope we can find a a treaty that we can do between the two countries because it would be a good thing, but I'm worried about this treaty. For instance, uh, uh, there's a real question whether we can do defense uh, of the United States uh, approaches under this, uh, certain defense approaches under this uh, treaty, and I'm going to have to have those type of things uh, resolved before I can vote for it. So the president came out moments ago at the top of the hour and made a statement about the START treaty and he said it's not about politics but national security. Just in broad strokes for, for those of us that aren't so in depth on the specifics of this treaty, is it your belief that this treaty will make us more safe or more vulnerable as a country? Well, some think it's going to make us more vulnerable because it doesn't cover some very important aspects and it does prevent any kind of a at least one aspect of, of it prevents uh, us being able to uh, have uh, defense mechanisms. So that's, it's just a matter of real concern. I've got to really study it more to be able to be up on it as well as I should, but I'm concerned about uh, some of the verification provisions, some of the telemetry provisions, or lack of provisions, I should say. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I come at it from a standpoint of wanting to support a relationship, a good relationship well, Senator, between Russia and the United States. Do you trust Russia? I don't trust anybody outside of our country uh, fully. I think we ought to check. We, uh, like, it's like Reagan said, you can trust but verify. <laughs> and I think we've got to verify that these things will work in our best interests and not just because, uh, you know, s s people on the left want to have a treaty. Uh, <laughs> Well, Senator, let's, do, uh, let's leave this topic just behind for a second. As we're talking about national security, we want to get your take on the results here with the Ahmed Galani trial. Uh, the Justice Department has come out and said that it's pleased with the results in a civilian court. But the question for you as a senator here and also part of the, you know, the Senate uh, Finance Committee, a high-ranking uh, senator, uh, where does the Justice Department go from here? Where do you think is the right path moving forward as we take a look at these other uh, Gitmo detainees? Well, if this, if this case doesn't make our case that these cases should be tried in Guantanamo, I don't know what does. He had 280 counts against him, and they only found him guilty on one, meaning he's only going to spend a certain amount of time in jail. And this is a guy that, uh, that literally, uh, with all the evidence in the world, participated in killing a lot of people. And frankly, uh, if, if it just shows the hazards of trying these cases in civilian courts in this country. Keep in mind, uh, he was not waterboarded. He was not, uh, you know, the, the, it would be 10 times harder to try a case against Khalid Sheikh Mohammed in a civilian trial than it would be in a military commission trial. And I might add that constitutional protections are there in the military commissions. It's just that you don't have to get into classified information, unnecessary classified information. You don't have to allow quite the same amount of discovery. You you do not have to put up with the, uh, with, uh, a jury that might not be uh, paying attention or might just uh, feel sorry for somebody. I mean, you literally can try the case on the merits, on the facts, and then make decisions that uh, basically will be in the best interest of our country. That's a perfect illustration of how out of, uh, uh, out of the ordinary this Justice Department is. They, you know, I understand why they believe civilian trials are good. I mean, that's a nice liberal point of view. But in these cases, they're not good. In these cases, it would be far better to have a military tribunal with all the constitutional protections that military uh, uh, tribunals are, are, are for, uh, forced to comply with. And, uh, but it's a much easier way of bringing the case, presenting the facts, establishing the case, and of course bringing justice to these people who have been responsible for killing you know, thousands of Americans.
All right, Senator Hatch, we appreciate it. Again, Senator Orrin Hatch, uh, the Republican from Utah, thank you so much.